SpaceX continues to make history in the space world, breaking records. While they are working tirelessly towards the fourth Starship launch, they are also achieving significant milestones with their Falcon 9 rockets. Nearly half a year has elapsed, and while the Falcon 9 and Starship programs continue to gain momentum, the Falcon Heavy, a rocket that garnered considerable anticipation, has yet to take its first step forward. However, I'm thrilled to announce that the Falcon Heavy is poised to rejoin the fray. NASA has just officially confirmed its first mission of the year, signaling the dawn of a promising new chapter for this rocket. So when can we expect the Falcon Heavy to blast off? How will it evolve over the course of the year, and will its role within SpaceX undergo any transformations? Join us as we explore these questions on today's AB Space. As of mid-May, SpaceX continues to make significant strides in the SpaceX exploration, achieving feats that highlight their leadership in rocket technology. SpaceX makes everything look easy, especially when it comes to landing a rocket booster. Before SpaceX revolutionized space travel, no other company had ever managed to land and reuse a rocket booster. This task is incredibly difficult, because it involves precisely guiding a rocket back to Earth from the edge of space and landing it upright, often on a floating drone ship in the ocean. Even big players like NASA had not achieved this feat before SpaceX. Instead, they relied on expendable rockets that were used once and then discarded, either left to become space debris or burning up in the atmosphere. Today, even NASA relies on SpaceX for some of their missions. Many of NASA's rockets still follow the old method of single use, while SpaceX is breaking reusability records further cementing their lead in the industry. On the evening of May 17, SpaceX successfully launched a Falcon 9 rocket, carrying 23 Starlink satellites into orbit. After a brief 8.5-minute flight, the first stage of the rocket landed safely on the drone ship. During the 8.5-minute flight, the rocket reached the edge of space, where temperatures during re-entry can exceed 2,000 degrees Celsius. This extreme heat is managed by the rocket's thermal protection systems, which include advanced heat-resistant materials. After reaching its orbital altitude, the first stage of the rocket began its controlled descent back to Earth. The booster is equipped with grid fins made from titanium, which are capable of withstanding the high temperatures and aerodynamic pressures during re-entry. These fins help to steer the booster back to its precise landing spot on the drone ship stationed in the Atlantic Ocean. This mission was particularly notable as it marked the 21st successful landing of Booster B-1062, setting a new record for rocket reusability. SpaceX engineers meticulously refurbished these boosters after each flight, inspecting structural components, engines. This milestone is part of SpaceX's ambitious goal of achieving 40 landings per booster. On April 12, this same booster became the first to complete 20 launches. It's important to note that the cost of a Falcon 9 launch is approximately $62 million. However, this cost can be significantly reduced through the reuse of the first stage booster which is a major component of the rocket. The first stage booster alone accounts for about 60-70% to 70 of the total launch cost. If the first stage accounts for roughly 70% of the $62 million launch cost, it means the booster alone costs about $43.4 million. By reusing the booster multiple times, such as the 21 times achieved with Booster B-1062, SpaceX avoids the need to build a new booster for each launch. For instance, if the booster can be reused 10 times, the effective cost of each launch is reduced by the cost of the booster divided by the number of uses. This could mean saving over $40 million per launch after accounting for refurbishment costs. Musk has previously mentioned that refurbishment costs are around $10 million, which still results in a net saving of approximately $30 million per launch. Musk ultimately plans for each Falcon 9 booster to be reused up to 40 times. And with the recent achievement of 21 successful reuses of Booster B-1062, SpaceX is already more than halfway towards this ambitious goal. Additionally, this flight marked the 309th successful landing of a Falcon 9 rocket and the 70th landing on a drone ship. SpaceX has been rapidly increasing its launch cadence over the past few years. In 2022, SpaceX completed 61 launches. The following year, in 2023, they surpassed this number with 96 launches. In 2024, SpaceX aims to nearly double the previous year's performance by reaching 148 launches. 
Ultimately, Musk plans for SpaceX to launch up to 1,000 rockets per year. Of course, achieving 1,000 launches per year is very difficult, but Musk is confident in reaching this goal. SpaceX operates multiple launch systems for their Falcon rockets, including two launch pads in Florida and one in California. This infrastructure allows them to conduct consecutive missions, sometimes just hours apart. Another reason for confidence in SpaceX's ability to meet its goals is their ability to ramp up launch rates towards the end of the year. In early 2023, SpaceX launched about 6 to 7 missions per month, but by the end of the year, this number had increased to 9 to 10 missions per month. This year, they have already launched between 9 to 12 missions per month in the first four months. They are expected to further increase this rate to 13 to 15 missions per month in the latter half of the year, averaging about two launches every three days. In comparison, other rockets cannot rival Falcon 9's launch rate. ULA's Vulcan Centaur, for instance, has only completed one mission this year. Furthermore, ULA is facing significant financial struggles within the company, which has led them to explore potential sales. One potential buyer is Jeff Bezos Blue Origin. Blue Origin, which supplies ULA with B-4 engines for the Vulcan rocket, is looking to buy ULA to gain immediate access to its orbital launch capabilities and valuable government contracts. This move would help Blue Origin compete more effectively with SpaceX. Blue Origin has been struggling to catch up to SpaceX in the space race. SpaceX has set a high bar with its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, as well as its ambitious Starship program. In contrast, Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket, which was supposed to compete with SpaceX's Starship, is still not nearly ready to launch. New Glenn was initially scheduled for its maiden flight in 2020, but delays have pushed this date back repeatedly. The rocket is designed to be partially reusable, with a first stage that can land and be reused similar to SpaceX's Falcon 9. However, while SpaceX has successfully launched and landed Falcon 9 boosters over 100 times, Blue Origin has yet to demonstrate this capability with New Glenn. The Starship program further widens the gap. Starship is designed to be fully reusable and capable of carrying a much larger payload compared to New Glenn. SpaceX has already conducted several test flights of Starship. In addition to their impressive launch capabilities, SpaceX is also driving the expansion of their Starlink satellite constellation. In mid-March, SpaceX launched their 6,000th satellite, and by the May 12th mission, they had reached 5,999 satellites in orbit. While this is only halfway to their ultimate goal, it is already sufficient for SpaceX to establish the world's premier internet system. True to expectations, SpaceX has ambitious plans for Falcon Heavy this year. While the number of launches may not rival that of 2023, each mission holds immense importance. The first milestone for Falcon Heavy this year will be the launch of the GOES-U satellite for NASA and NOAA, or the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. This marks the 10th mission for Falcon Heavy to date, initially slated for late April and subsequently pushed to May. Recent updates from NASA confirmed the launch date for June 25th. This isn't merely a plan anymore, it's officially confirmed. Falcon Heavy's 10th launch is scheduled for 5.16 p.m. ETC on June 25th at Launchpad LC-39A. To bolster confidence in the launch schedule, NASA has issued an invitation to media organizations to attend the upcoming Falcon Heavy launch of the GOES-U satellite. This move signifies a high level of certainty as it involves numerous organizations, processes, and logistical considerations, indicating that further changes to the mission are unlikely. So mark your calendars for the end of June. NASA's significant investment in this upcoming mission underscores its importance. The contract awards to SpaceX for launching this weather satellite is valued at up to $152.5 million US dollars. In comparison, last year's Psyche spacecraft launch mission costed $117 million while the upcoming Europa Clipper mission to Jupiter's satellite is budgeted at $178 million. These figures highlight the significance of the GOES-U mission in NASA's agenda and space exploration efforts. The GOES-U satellite is set to operate in the geostationary orbit at an altitude of 35,786 kilometers, significantly higher than most SpaceX missions. With a dry mass of 2,925 kls, it will reach a hefty 5 tons when fully fueled. 
Equipped with a suite of advanced instruments, the satellite is poised to revolutionize weather monitoring and forecasting. Among these capabilities, GOZU will provide advanced imagery, atmospheric measurements, real-time mapping of lightning activity and the detection of approaching space weather hazards. This state-of-the-art satellite represents the culmination of the GOZER series, following its predecessors GOZ-16, 17, and 18, which were launched by ULACE Atlas V. According to NASA, GOZU will enhance the nation's ability to monitor and forecast weather, ocean, and environmental dynamics in real time. The satellite has seven instruments that will provide advanced imagery and atmospheric measurements of Earth's western hemisphere, real-time mapping of lightning activity and advanced monitoring of solar activity and space weather. Turning our attention back to our trusty launch vehicle, the Falcon Heavy, many are questioning whether 2024 will mark the beginning of a decline for this remarkable rocket. The concern stems from the fact that compared to last year's impressive tally of five missions, Falcon Heavy is currently slated for just three in 2024, namely the Gozu, Europa Clipper, and Griffin missions. While still more missions than in any other year except 2023, this reduction has left many feeling uneasy about the rocket's future. Further fueling skepticism are the delays attributed to technical issues plaguing the Falcon Heavy. As previously noted, the Gozu mission, originally slated for the end of April, has been pushed back twice to the end of June. The culprit, a problem with the core booster B-1087, which encountered an oxygen leak during testing. While understandable given that the B-1087 is a new booster yet to be launched, these delays have raised doubts about Falcon Heavy's reliability and whether its technology is overly complex. Adding to the skepticism surrounding the Falcon Heavy is its contrasting condition when compared to SpaceX's other two flagship rockets, the Falcon 9, and the yet-to-be-proven Starship. Falcon 9 has been steadily increasing its launch frequency, setting new records for launches, landings, and reuse. As of May 10, it has completed an impressive 48 missions, showcasing remarkable reliability and efficiency. Similarly, Starship is making significant strides, having completed Flight 3 in March with preparations for Flight 4 and 5 already underway at a rapid pace. Falcon Heavy will continue to hold significant importance in the foreseeable future, at least for the next few years. Primarily, the relatively lower frequency of Falcon Heavy launches is not indicative of its diminishing relevance, but rather a reflection of its intended purpose. Falcon Heavy is designed for missions of greater complexity and payload requirements compared to Falcon 9. Previous missions, such as Psyche, Jupiter 3, Via Cethri, and those for the USSF, or United States Space Force, along with this year's GEO Altitude missions exemplify the rocket's capability to tackle challenging missions beyond low Earth orbit, or LEO for short. This sets Falcon Heavy apart for Falcon 9, which primarily handles LEO missions, like Starlink deployments at 550 km altitude. While Falcon 9 theoretically could execute these missions, Falcon Heavy's larger payload capacity and greater thrust make it the more suitable choice, ultimately enhancing mission efficiency. Though touted as SpaceX's next-generation vehicle, Starship remains in the developmental stage, making it evident that Falcon Heavy will continue to play a crucial role in the near future. While Starship is poised to eventually replace both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, this transition won't happen overnight. Thus, important missions will still heavily rely on Falcon Heavy for at least the next three to four years. Regardless of its operational timeline, Falcon Heavy's significance in 2024 is undeniable. In addition to the GOSA mission, Falcon Heavy will also undertake two other vital missions. One such mission is the Europa Clipper, scheduled for launch in October. This mission holds immense importance as it will transport NASA's spacecraft to Jupiter's moon Europa to conduct an extensive survey. Equipped with sophisticated scientific instruments, the Europa Clipper aims to investigate the moon's composition, geological activity, icy shell thickness, subsurface lakes, and ocean depth, as well as salinity. Without delving into extensive analysis, it's evident that this mission will profoundly impact humanity's future exploration endeavors. Falcon Heavy's third mission this year will involve launching NASA and Astrobotics Viper, Lunar Lander, marking the next step in the United States' journey back to the moon following two earlier missions this year. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my
channel and hit the like button and if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date you can become an exclusive member so click on our perks through the link the description below thanks to watching and see you next time.